We're just gonna put that delicious cheese sauce all over it. Today we're going to be cooking hoisin glazed shiitake mushroom tacos. This is probably my favorite vegan dish because it makes up for the fact that it's vegan with how delicious it is in flavor and texture. There's three main components to this dish. We're going to have the fresh salsa. We're lucky enough to have my grandpa's fresh Roma tomatoes and fresh garlic from his uh, garden. It was going to have some sweet pepper, some lime, some onion, and fresh cilantro, so it's a little bit more Mexican style. And then we're gonna do the cheese sauce, which is gonna be a vegan cheese sauce. The base of that will be cashews, nutritional yeast, lime juice, water, and a little bit of liquid smoke. And we're gonna use the Vitamix, so it just turns it into a delicious, smooth cheese sauce. Because if you don't have a great blender, you really gotta soak the cashews or it will kind of be a little bit grainy in texture. The Korean style portion of this dish is going to be the uh, shiitake mushroom, hoisin glazed shiitake mushrooms. Now, you could use portobello mushrooms, but if you're gonna use portobello mushrooms, make sure you scoop out the uh, insides of them. But I do like the meatiness of the shiitake mushroom and it's kind of got a woody flavor to it. So we'll do that part at the end and that kind of mimics um, a short rib or a bulgogi beef, which is very Korean style. So that would be the protein. The last part of this dish that I really love is taking the soft tortilla shells and frying them on both sides. So they're nice and soft, but chewy and crispy at the same time. So you get a lot of texture with that. And I think that's what makes this dish over the top. So let's get started with the mise en place and I'll see you in the next shot. All right, guys. So we're going to start things off with the salsa. And I want to show you how to peel this onion. So what you want to do is you want to give it a slice, but not all the way through, as you can see. Turn it around, give it a little slice, but not, oh, I went all the way through, but see how it's still attached here? You can kind of pull and it helps open the onion. And then we're just going to peel this onion here. Sometimes it's a bit of a pain in the butt. Okay, so we got our onion here. We have the root right there. We're gonna cut the root right down the center like that so it holds all the layers of the onion together. And I think we're only gonna use about half an onion for this recipe. I don't want too much. I'm just gonna give it a slice. And what I'm doing is I'm starting off here and I'm slicing back. So we get the cut all the way to the back of the onion. And I'm using my, uh, oh, you don't wanna do that. You don't wanna slice the whole thing off. I'm just using my finger as a guide. And then once you have done all the slices, you're just gonna go slice down the middle. I shouldn't have cut all the way through, but I got a sharp knife. I'm just gonna slice down. Okay, and that's all the onion we're gonna need for that, half an onion, half a red onion. And then we have my grandpa's fresh garlic. I have a little more than what we need for this uh, salsa recipe. I'm gonna do it for the poison glazed mushrooms. So how do we open the garlic? We just put our knife on it and give it a good press. All right, once you get to that part, just open her up. Get rid of all that skin. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little, maybe a half a tablespoon for the uh, salsa. And then the rest is just going to go in here for the rest of the recipe. We're going to slice down and then we're going to turn the pepper like that and turn it like that. And then you should just be able to put your finger here and break it open. We're only going to use one half of the pepper. I think 
we might be able to get away with uh, four tomatoes. Four tomatoes is good. Getting the right consistency there. And I take a fresh lime. Give that a squeeze in there. And then we got some extra virgin olive oil. Maybe a tablespoon and a half. Got to get it nice and seasoned. So some salt and pepper. And the final ingredient that I really think makes this dish, now you can use basil or you can use fresh cilantro. The cilantro kind of gives it a Mexican style taste. I'm gonna do a good pinch there, roll it up. It's okay if you get a little bit of the uh, stem, that gives it a nice fresh flavor too. I'm gonna put that in. Let's see, it smells delicious. We'll give that a nice mix. You could use green peppers instead of red. I only had red. Green might give it another color, or maybe even yellow pepper. But that's looking pretty nice. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, delicious. All right, guys. So this is the first step of the cheese sauce. We're gonna boil some potatoes. I'm just salting my water. Okay, and I have two small potatoes that I peeled. And I just chopped them in half and soaked them in water to get rid of any extra starch. And we're just gonna boil those until they're tender and that'll be the base, some of the base of our cheese sauce. All right guys, so I boiled the potatoes for the base of the vegan cheese sauce. And now the other part of that is one cup of unsalted cashews. Then we're gonna do one heaping tablespoon of nutritional yeast. And then we're going to put the juice of one lime. Give it some zing. Another half here. one garlic clove. And then I'm just gonna do a teaspoon of onion powder. Two teaspoons of turmeric. And then a couple dashes of liquid smoke. Maybe four dashes. And then depending on how spicy you like it, I'm gonna put some Tabasco. I'm gonna do Couple dashes of that. Just to bring everything together, we're just gonna pour, let's start off with one, two, three tablespoons of water. All right, put the lid on that. Oh, one other thing we need is salt. All right, give that a blend. Starting to come together, you may need to scoop the sides a little bit, just because things get caught up. It's looking a little too thick, so I'm going to add another two tablespoons of water. So we're at about well, five tablespoons. All right, guys, I'm pretty happy the way this turned out. Nice and smooth, it tastes just like nacho cheese sauce. Some, um, yeah, really excited to try this on the tacos. All right guys, so 
we have our shiitake mushrooms here. I did cut off the stems and I brushed them all. So I took a, a damp paper towel and I just give them a brush. I don't wash them because I don't want them to get soggy and, and soak up any extra moisture. And if I see a brown spot just like that, you can very lightly just take it off like with your knife so you don't have to worry about that. And yeah, they're looking pretty good. This other one, I just wanna trim off any excess, maybe brown spots. And then from there, we're just gonna give them a good slice. You wanted to keep them reasonably thick. All right, so for the barbecue sauce, we're gonna take about half a cup of hoisin sauce, two tablespoons of sweet teriyaki, and about a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. We'll just give that a good mix. And that is our delicious hoisin barbecue sauce. to it. All right, now we got our melted butter and some avocado oil. Got a little mix around. We're just gonna hit it with the garlic that we chopped up and that's about two cloves of garlic. And I'm using about eight large shiitake mushrooms. So once we Get that garlic, uh, mm, wow, that smells nice. Saute it up nicely, then we'll add the mushrooms. Okay. We're just gonna let those saute in butter and I have that on a medium high heat. It's good to give them a little stir, mix around. Oh, that smells nice. All right, so now this has a really nice toasted brown color to it. We're gonna add our delicious barbecue sauce, our hoisin glaze. Then we're turning it off. And that's the filling right there. It's gonna cook that glaze a little bit. put that to the side. All right guys, this is the best part of these tacos. We're gonna take these soft tortilla shells. I got some oil that's been heating up. And we're just gonna put that in the pan to fry. You wanna press it down into the oil. Make sure it's not bubbling out of control, like a pizza. Side. I'm just using my tongs to press it down so it doesn't bubble up out of control. And then I've set up um, my paper towel station right there so the oil can seep out. So I'm just going to let it drip here. And then I'm going to try and fold it these two cups that way it stays like a taco shell all right next one
delicious cheese sauce all over it. I'm trying to be neat with it, but it's not easy. Look at that. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, moment of truth. Hoisin glazed shiitake mushroom tacos. All right, cheers. Mmm. Okay, first bite. Oh, look how nice and crispy that shell is. Take a look at that, that beautiful, beautiful taco. All right. Mmm. Mm. Oh. Oh wow. That cheese sauce, the sweetness from the uh, hoisin glaze shiitake mushrooms, and then the salsa for the freshness, and then the crispy chewiness of this taco. Mmm. 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 Wow, that's amazing. That's like one of the best tacos I've ever had. Forget vegan, like that is just amazing. Oh my gosh. Mm. You guys gotta try this recipe. It is unbelievable. That is so good. Mm. Mm. Wow. I'm really, really happy with this. Cheers, guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Please hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time for another delicious recipe like this one. Cheers.